Happy New Year everyone! I'll quickly be going through Figma's variants today. Similar to how Adobe XD has component states, Figma can have different versions of components that can really speed up your workflow when it comes to using common design components. Assigning multiple versions of a single component also prevents your project from getting super overblown with components. I'll be demonstrating the feature with button components, so without further ado, let's get started. First we want to create a regular button. This is easy enough using a 16 pixel standard font, and creating an auto layoff frame for responsive content resizing later on. Now we can turn this button into component by clicking the Create Component button in the top toolbar. You can see that a Variants panel will show up on the right sidebar. This is where we will modify properties of our future variants. To create a new variant, click on the plus button on the right. You'll see a duplicate of your current component come right below. This is a new variant. We'll make this variant a secondary button for our user interface, so let's rename the variant to secondary. Now we can style this and the changes aren't applied on both as Figma treats this as a child component. So now we have a secondary button. This works when we drag in our component from the component toolbar and switch between the components made using the dropdown available. You're probably asking, why is this header called property one? This is because there can be multiple properties for variants. We've only defined the type of button, so let's rename the property to type. We can create a new property called state, which will define what state the button has. This default state is automatically applied to our existing buttons. Let's create a new hover state. We can now duplicate our buttons and apply the applicable styling. I'll change up the buttons to show what they would look like on hover. If there's only two options for a property, Figma recognizes true or false values, so instead of having multiple values, we can say if the variant is hovered or not. Now we can go back to the button we dragged in from the assets panel, and the hovered option is now available. It shows a switch so we may toggle the state. That's a quick view on component variants. If you have any question or feel like there's something I didn't cover, please leave a comment down below. Also check out Figma's more in-depth tutorial on variants, which I've linked below the like button. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.